Market Marshall police officer was on a traffic stop when a driver who didn't want to be identified told that officer, you need to check out the driver of bus 15 here at this elementary school behind me. Parents told me they're glad they're glad that that officer did because they say something bad could have happened. So she shouldn't be driving, you know. Robert Stedham shares the same sentiment as the unidentified driver who suspected something was wrong with bus driver Michelle Combs. Well, what happens if she would have got hit, like in a car accident, killed all them kids? You know, that's that's crazy. Police reports state Combs was impaired after taking prescription Xanax early Wednesday morning. Her bus was parked at Merlin Heights Elementary, picking up children when officers made the discovery. You know, it's a bad choice, and uh, people make bad choices even in positions of trust like a school bus driver. Lisa Brokaw cares about safety as she straps her daughter into her booster seat. Brokaw hopes the school district checks their drivers out thoroughly. I would hope they would do a routine drug test. I, mean, I know that's not a, a you know, a, an illegal drug, but you want to make sure that they are able to operate, you know, the vehicle. Now, I just got off the phone about an hour ago with the Vandalia Butler School Superintendent, Christy Donnelly. She told me that bus driver was taken off of her route and back to the bus depot. As for a punishment, the school district will handle that internally. I asked Butler Township Police if they were planning on filing any charges. They say no, they're just going to let her go because she was not driving students at the time that she was impaired under that Xanax drug. For now, reporting live in Butler Township, Kenan Oliphant. Two news on your side.